Alright, so for the fairly new user or the seasoned user who needs a refresher, here are some tips on how to navigate Match.com. Once you log in, this is your home page. Um, you'll see here, um, this page keeps track of who you've initiated contact with through email, who you've winked at, um, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, and also who has responded to your emails. Along the top here, you can go to your profile. Go ahead and click on view edit and you can make changes to your profile as needed. Um, this part's important. Uh, grab their attention with something funny or witty here um, and then just put your general information. You really do want to take a few minutes and fill out each section because people will take you more seriously if you show that you put some thought into answering the questions. All right, go back up to the top. Uh, once a day, Match.com will send you five or six matches. It calls it your daily matches. Um, and that's people it guesses you may be compatible with. The great thing about this is if you click no, you're not interested in the person. Um, you're not hurting anyone's feelings. The person doesn't even know you've been sent his profile. But if you click yes, uh, Match.com emails that person to let them know you like the profile. So you can either email the people you've shown interest in or some of them might email you and say, hey, I saw you're interested, I'd like to get to know you better. But if you're a little shy or hesitant to make the first move and initiate contact, it's a great way to get the ball rolling on making some connections without being really forward. Uh, you're not gonna make a lot of connections this way though, so I do recommend taking advantage of the search. Again, go to the top and um, click on custom search. And then I'll walk you through setting your search criteria. So right here, just uh, the basics. I am a woman looking for a man. Say I want someone a little older, I'll say between 20 and, or between 30 and 39. Um, and then within, let's say I want somebody, I want to be able to see their photo. Um, and somebody who is pretty close to where I live. And then here you can change, um, change the criteria as needed. So. Say I want somebody who's taller than me, I could click 5'10 to be a really tall person, 6'10. Um, say I want somebody who is not currently married, so I'll make sure I click somebody who's uh, never been married, who's divorced, or who's a widower, but not somebody who's um, currently still married. Um, you know, if I want somebody who social drinker, or if it doesn't matter to me, I can click any. Um, and then down here, keyword, if something's really important to you, like hiking or playing piano or going to concerts, you can click that. And then um, if that word shows up in their profile, um, that will that will factor into your search. And then you click search now. All right, so let's just pick the first one I see. Um, Reviewing a profile is pretty self-explanatory, but if you scroll down, you'll notice you can easily view the person's characteristics, um, you know, lifestyle, background, uh, etc., and also view what he's looking for in a partner down here. So it's really nicely lined up. Um, what he's like shows up here, and then what he's looking for in his date shows up here. If you're a subscribed member and you're interested in somebody, you can email them by clicking here. If you're not subscribed, uh, you can only wink right here. When you wink at somebody, Match.com just notifies that person you're interested in them, so it's it's like a very tentative first move. I highly recommend, though, um, subscribing because you're not going to get many responses to winks, and also um, you can't view your emails when you're not subscribed, so if somebody does respond, you, you can't check their email. Um, if you see a profile you like, you can also click here to see similar profiles. And if there's, say, a person who has um, emailed you excessively or winked several times, you might want to um, block them from contacting you here. And again, that feature is also only available to subscribe members. Okay, going back to search, another option is um, keep in mind that the people you're looking for might not always be looking for you. So one option is the mutual match. Um, the search generates a list of people who meet your search criteria, and you also meet uh, their search criteria. I hear a lot of complaints from people that they're getting emails um, from members they're not interested in at all. 
So um, there's a way to reduce that junk mail, and I can't show you here with this uh, particular profile because it's not a subscribed account, but um, you can set email filters, which is great. Uh, once you're a subscribed member, you can set criteria that you don't want to receive emails from people, for example, who are outside of your age range criteria or who don't meet your lifestyle criteria, and those emails automatically go into a filtered mail folder and don't even show up in your inbox. So that's a great way to cut back on unwanted emails. And one other thing that just popped into my mind, so when you're ready to log out, um, Match.com just changed this, I'm not sure why, but um, every time it auto-signs you back in, so every single time you sign out, go here and uncheck this box if you wanna keep your profile pro private or your you know account safer and more secure. Um, every time you will have to uncheck that. So um, I hope that helps you get familiar with Match.com if you have specific questions uh, about different um, different areas of the of the website let me know and I can answer those